virtual machine with two different nicks create vm I hope you're able to see my screen as well. Yes, sir. And one more thing you have to remember is the size is literally based on the location, based on the region, the size differs. Please remember this. Please register this particular point. First, you have to validate whether that size is available or not. Trust everything else as it is. As it is. Let that VNet create, subnet create, and network adapter. But what I want to do is, I want to add one more network adapter. And I need to show how to connect uh, with uh, that uh, IP. You can't get anywhere, for sure. You can Google, you can, you can literally um, uh, check in the YouTube. It's Many articles says it is not possible, but I'll show you. So now if you see this virtual machine is having a public IP and I can take RDP to, to that. So remote desktop uh, or, or MSTSC, whatever. Simple, let that load, but we are able to take the RDP, pretty much simple. Now, <clears throat> we need to add another network adapter. You may notice the button here on top of here, uh, attach network interface, detach network interface. This operation cannot be done. If you place your cursor there, cannot be performed on running virtual machine. To add, to remove, to do anything, what you have to do is you need to shut down the virtual machine or stop the virtual machine to perform this particular action. So RDP is taking, let it be. I'm not going to worry about it. What I do is I will turn off. If someone asks, customer asks to add one more network adapter, you have to say, no, this operation cannot be done while virtual machine is running. We need to stop the virtual machine or deallocate the virtual machine to perform that get appropriate approval. Then if any action that causes, I'm saying, saying again, if any action that, that causes outage, you need to get proper approval, simple. Let that stop. Yeah, I hope that operation is completed and virtual machine is stopped and deallocated. Perfect. 
let us go there and now this option is enabled right detach is not enabled why because it does not have multiple network adapter virtual machine should have at least one network adapter to be run right that's why detach is disabled this option will be enabled while virtual machine having multiple network adapters let us add one attach a network interface because we don't have any uh, create and attach network interface just i'm mentioning nick zero two and uh, yeah let it be public inbound inbound yeah uh, we need to allow rdp problem is we are we are creating the network adapter sorry network nses at the nick level in production we do at the subnet level one thing is we can create the subnet and we can ignore creating the uh, public inbound points uh, sorry ports or the nse should be none something like that we can plan okay private ip address based on the dynamic i mean uh, you want system to select one or you want to give your own ip from the same subnet from this particular subnet for example um, if you want to give 10 dot zero dot zero dot one one four for example if you want to give that because this is from the same subnet if you see slash 24 right so this is static static means you select your ip create this will create an additional network adapter and it will assign to the virtual machine sir you created the uh, 10 point series for public ip right no, 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 that's a private IP. I'm not created public IP yet. I, I will show you how to create and assign. That's a private IP from the same subnet I, I told. You can also create from the different subnet. It, it does not like you have to create from the same subnet. Generally, the requirement will be from different subnet only. The requirement will be. Just for demo purpose, I chose one. nick 2 has been attached now you can see detach button is is arrived here because multiple nicks are there simple so this is the network adapter and this does not having any public ip but private ip 114 is the one which we chose let us go to this particular network adapter and go to ip configuration and click on this particular IP configuration. Associate. What you have to do is public IP address associate. And uh, we don't have any. Uh, create second public IP, just I mentioned. And everything as it is. It's not going to change. If you want to change the IP, for the static, this is the place. You come here and modify this particular IP address, private IP address, that's it. Simple. You can change your virtual machine IP easily if you change here. Hmm. Now let us go to virtual machine and let me uh, take, oh, because virtual machine is not turned on, right? IPs will not be shown because we chose dynamic. If it is static, public IP will be um, permanent, but we chose static. That's why we are not able to see any IP. Once we turned on the virtual machine, definitely IPs will be assigned. That's what the differentiation between public IP, dynamic and static. Sir? Yeah. 
does Azure uh, charge uh, same amount for both dynamic and static packages, public ethics? No, 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 no. Dynamic is lesser when you compare with the static. Why? Because you are you are reserving, right? So costly. This is running. Let me go to networking and first uh, one. This is the IP. I will able to um, successfully um, take RDP for sure. There is no doubt in it. But problem with the second network. Uh, adapter i'll show you why um, uh, things are different let this load completely meantime let us try to take um, rdp with this particular public ip let's see whether it works or not It won't work. Initiating remote connection, but it won't connect for sure. There is no doubt in it. See, remote desktop cannot connect. It's not reachable. It, it's saying uh, remote access to the server is not enabled. The uh, or the remote computer is turned off or the remote computer is not available on the network. Third one is appropriate. So let us keep this as it is. Close this, we don't want this any. If you see, take this EMD and and IP config, just to see IP config you'll understand the differentiation. This is first network adapter, right? This is second network adapter. If you want to see network adapter related, um, dot .cpl. So these are the two different network adapters provided by Hyper-V. So we can understand at the back end, Microsoft using Hyper-V, not the VMware. Right, because same product, Microsoft product is Hyper V. Right. So because default gateway is not there, right? We are unable to reach the virtual machine from the second network adapter. For that, what we need to do is it's a pretty much simple thing. We need to add a route. Anything that coming to this particular IP, right? We need to route this to this particular default gateway. Simple. We need to simple. This default gateway needs to be added here. In other words, this applies uh, same. I mean, if it is uh, from the same subnet, if the, if it is from different subnet, it does not change anything. So let me add route. Add is a command, um, and let us do each and every uh, traffic, entire traffic. 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 means everything, right? And mask is subnet mask. You can give 25.255.255.255.0 or um, everything. Mask, M-A-S-K, 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0. I'm giving everything. Any traffic that, that passes and what is the IP, right? What is the gateway IP? This copy this 10.0. This gateway IP needs to 
come to this gateway IP and um, we need to give um, IF. IF. IF means network adapter number, right? Network adapter uh, number. Oh, we need to get network adapter number first. Let me enter this. I just entered it to copy again, so don't mind it. But what we need to uh, do is, uh, let us do uh, route print. It shows the route. See, this is what route I just added, uh, leave it. Huh. We do have two different network interfaces. One is first one, right? And this is second one. This interface is 10. Sorry, the number of that particular interface is 10. To know that interface, I used route print. That's it, apart from nothing. So let me go again to below and use the same command and I have 10 is a number, right? Network adapter physical number is 10. Uh, I think before to that, what I need to do is, I need to add the metric as well. Um, metric 5015, just a routing methodology that I chose for. This number is constant. For any rule that you uh, want to write, this number is common. So that's it. We added the route. Let us see now, oh no, inside operating system itself, let us print uh, IP config. See, 10.0.0.1. Whatever the default gateway here, we added that default gateway to the next network adapter also with help of routes, right? We created a route, simple. If you, if you see route print, um, this route will be there above. See this one. Now, let us see. See, it's asking the password, isn't it? So the communication is happening from the network adapter, second network adapter also. If I give the password, obviously obviously because i'm the same user your old connection will be turned off and the connection using this particular uh, ip will be see old one is disconnected you have disconnected because another connection was made to the remote computer this is old one new one we are inside this is old one just close it new one we are inside wherever you left same session will be open for you because you are the same user 